Hi everyone, this is my new series called A Day in the Life of Me Show. I hope y'all enjoy. Episode 1. This is Shelby's point of view at the very beginning, so I hope y'all enjoy. Hi, hello everyone. I'm Michelle, and this is my little version of the story before we get into Michelle's life. You see, I was adopted by her father, but my daddy unfortunately has to be on business trips and, and all, so I am here with my butler. This is my butler, Jeremy. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I'm her butler. Jeremy takes care of me, at least until my father comes home. Yes, as of right now, we're looking for a new house, so we'll see. Yes, our mansion is very small, so stay for the next episode. We love you all, and have a wonderful day. Toodles! Season 2, Episode 2 of The Day in the Life of Michelle. And I'll add Shelby in there as well. Oh, excuse me, sir. We're looking for a new house. Do you have any suggestions on where we should live? Oh, my yes. Just give me one second. <laughs> yes, there is a house on Fifth Avenue South, the Mystic Cottage. I think it will be suitable for the both of you. Okay, okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll leave it on your father's credit card. Thank you so much, sir. We do really appreciate it. So now they go off to the Misty Cottage. All right, Miss Shelby, this must be the place. Hmm, very old country fine, but I really do like the setup. I do love our outside. It's lovely. Well, we must have a look at the inside before we see if I like it. See you on next episode. Next part of the day in the life of me, Shell, and Shelby. Come on, Jeremy. Let's go inside and see what the house looks like. All right, miss. We'll do. Oh, this must be the kitchen. Very, very nice. I love this kitchen here. Oh, my goodness. I love this bathroom. And I especially love that they have a tub. My last mansion house did not have a tub, unfortunately. And wow, this is our cozy living room. I'm really loving it. Come and look at your bedroom, Shelby. Oh, wow, it's amazing. I love our, my bedroom. But wait, where are you going to sleep, Jeremy? Oh, I forgot about that. I have a house next door that I saw. I'm thinking about buying it. Okay, as long as you're close to me. Yes, of course, definitely, not a problem. Next part of the series. Well, miss, at least it's close to your school. Oh, uh, yes, I forgot about school. It's not exciting. I know that you're rich, sweetie, but at least you've got to make some friends with some other, with some other children. Uh, well, teenagers, children, whatever you want to call it, I guess. Well, yes, you get yourself settled, and I'm going to go get settled in my other house. But wait, you're not going to cook dinner or anything? Oh, I thought we could go out for dinner tonight instead of cooking oh well that will be lovely then i also would love to go to the mall tomorrow oh yes yes of course miss of course we can go to the mall we also need to go get your eyes checked by the way <laughs> yes and then we can go get me some outfits and sunglasses and whatever i want yes you know where your father keeps his money don't you well of course every rich girl knows where daddy keeps her money all right then we will go to the mall tomorrow i promise Next part, Meanwhile, with Michelle. Well, it's been about a year since Michelle's grandmother has passed away, unfortunately. But at least I'm taking great care of Michelle. She's doing wonderful. I am going to go check up on her now. Her therapy is almost over, so I'm really excited. Good morning, Michelle. Your therapy is almost over. I'm very happy. I'm very excited too, Dr. Sarah, but... I'm really upset because I really miss my grandma. I know you do, darling, but at least you'll be okay. Oh, by the way, you are going to be going to school pretty soon. Oh, really? Will I be able to be out of this wheelchair by then? Of course. I'm thinking about taking you out of it tomorrow. We'll see how you get on walking on your own. Oh, that's great. I'm really excited. Me too. Next part, 
And sorry, I spoke in British accent, by the way. All right, sweetie. I'm going to go and see another patient. If you do need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, it's no problem at all. Then it became nighttime. I'm going to help you get in your bed because I'm not really necessarily ready for you to come out of your wheelchair on your own. Even though you're doing very well in your therapy. Okay, doctor, that's fine. I'll see you tomorrow morning and we'll try to get you out of your wheelchair and walking on your own. Oh, that's exciting. I can't wait. All right. Good night. Good night, Dr. Sarah. I honestly basically live here in the hospital. I don't necessarily have a home. I kind of live here. I work night shifts now. So while Michelle is gone during the day, I usually sleep. And at night... Next part. I work on night shift. So, while Michelle is gone during the day, I get some rest. And when she's here in the sleep, then I'm at work. But anyway, let's go and see my next patient. Hello, Nurse Jim. How is Samantha doing? Hello, Dr. Sarah. Nice hair, by the way. And Samantha's doing fine. Okay, great. And how about Ginger? She just came in yesterday? Yes, we have not put a bandage on her head, but we did put a bandage on her arm, and her x-rays will be in tomorrow morning. Okay, okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Absolutely no problem. Hello, Ginger. I'm Dr. Sarah. Hi, Dr. Sarah. I don't know what I'm doing here. Well, sweetie, you went hiking, and then you fell, and I don't know if you hit your head, but as far as we know, your arm is hurt. Okay, then. Yes. So, next part. As far as I know, we got your CT scans, and we just need to look at them to make sure you're okay. Okay, then. Thank you, doctor. We will hook you up to an IV and if necessary, but otherwise we put a cast on your arm and we really don't know if you banged your head really bad, but we will get you a bandage eventually. Okay, thank you, doctor. I don't think you should be in here long, but we'll keep you in for observation, at least until we know what's wrong with you. Okay, that sounds good. All right then, have a good night. On to my next patient. Thank you, Dr. Sarah. Have a good night. Hello, Samantha. How are you doing today? I'm fine, Dr. Sarah. Thank you. Yes, you had a pretty bad fall as well, breaking every bone in your body. I know, don't remind me, doctor. Well, everything will be fine. Just get some rest and you'll be out of the hospital very soon. I really do hope so. Thanks, Thanks part of the series. Then it became morning. Wow, today is when I get to see if I can walk on my own today. Good morning, Michelle. Let's see if you can walk on your own today. Oh, I'm excited, doctor. All right, then. Let's get you up. Okay, now I'm going to move back, and I want you to try to walk towards me, okay? Um, do you think you can hold my hand? Sure, no problem. They walk slowly and slowly and slowly. 30 minutes later... Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm walking on my own. That's absolutely wonderful, Michelle. Very, very good. Very good. We're going to get you enrolled in a school, so you'll be making new friends very soon. Do I still have to live here? I'm afraid yes, sweetheart. Okay. Next part of the series. All right, Michelle, I don't think you need that wheelchair anymore. I think you are good to go to walk on your own. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so excited. Well, you'll still be living here in the hospital because you are not of age to live on your own just yet. Okay, but I'm so excited to get ready for school. Yes, why don't I discharge you for a little bit and you can go to the mall and get yourself some good stuff. You mean good stuff for school? Yes, of course. Um, do you have any money? Um, no, I don't think so, unless my grandmother left me some. Well, there's an ATM in the mall. Why don't you get some money from there? Okay, then. Thank you, Dr. Sarah. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem at all. I'll see you later. And let me know how your shopping day goes. Oh, I definitely will. I'm going to have so much fun. Yay!